While the San Andreas is the most likely fault to produce a major earthquake, it's not the only one that scientists have an eye on. Northern California has its highest risk in the Hayward Fault, which lies on the east side of the San Francisco Bay and accommodates a smaller amount of the motion between the Pacific and North American plates. Because it's shorter, the absolute biggest quake it's thought to be capable of is about a 7.2, but it's also the most urbanized fault in the country, home to several million people and over a trillion dollars in property. It's crossed numerous times by mass transit corridors and critical lifelines. This fault represents the biggest earthquake risk to the Bay Area because seismologists have discovered previous ruptures. Around 1315, 1470, 1630, 1725, and most recently, 1868. That one was so destructive, it was considered the Great San Francisco Quake until 1906. Today, the East Bay's population is a hundred times greater than it was then. Research done after the Napa earthquake revealed that stress was transferred to the Hayward Fault, not enough to directly trigger a quake, but nudging it a little bit closer to rupturing. Due to its tremendous risk to people and property, shakeout simulations have also been made for the Hayward Fault. In this one, a 6.8 starts in Fremont and continues north to Berkeley, taking 20 seconds to rupture and releasing 16 times more energy than the Napa quake. In this scenario, a magnitude 7 begins in San Pablo Bay and moves south past Fremont. Cities on the fault like Oakland and San Leandro see stronger shaking. When the shaking is amplified to a great extent in these soft soils, it can lead to liquefaction. Liquefaction is a phenomenon where the ground shaking makes the sand settle. If it's saturated, that water that was there where the sand is trying to settle has no place to go, and so it starts fountaining out. Basically, the sand becomes temporarily quicksand. Quicksand does a poor job of holding up buildings and roads. Liquefaction is the reason San Francisco's Marina District was so heavily damaged in 1989, even though the epicenter was far away. 